so got a video for you guys i'm actually pretty excited about this one we got this sprint booster v3 and i know this is gonna be kind of a hot topic it's a it's a debated topic of is it really worth it does it really do anything can you just mash the gas pedal harder um but from my research it, it seems like there is some uh actual actual science behind this so um I want to try it. I was excited too, and uh, I, I think it could help C55 become a little more responsive. I, I don't really need or want any more power from it, I, but I would like a little more uh, responsiveness. So we're gonna try it out and uh, get this installed, go for a drive, see what it feels like. All right, see you in a sec. All right, so if we go ahead and open this up inside, let's take a look. So it comes with a zip tie, probably just to help keep it mounted if we need. Keep that to the side. It's got both of the manuals. And right here is the actual controller. And then underneath that, you've got your actual uh, pedal to uh, adapter relay. So that's what goes in and plugs behind the pedal up to a um, uh, controller. And this end right there, the white end, plugs in to this, to this wire. Um, you can see right there the adapter for it. And then you can mount this wherever um, to uh, go through your adjustable settings. All right, so from taking another look, sounds like uh, like I said, there's just that cap you pop off with a uh, 10 millimeter nut inside. Um, and then after that, you just kind of pull up on the bottom and then try to wiggle it out. And there's a connection underneath and then the throttle position sensor up top. So we're going to go for it right now. See how it goes. All right. So that cap just popped off, goes right there, just pop it up. Uh, and then there is the 10 millimeter nut inside. So let's go ahead and get that one off. All right, so 10 millimeter nut is off. It's got kind of a washer connected to it. Uh, and there it is. And now we should just be able to pop this up. And you got to kind of get it over that. I don't know if you can see it, you gotta kinda get it over that prong that's sticking out. Um, and then just pull down. I'm gonna do this with two hands, so I'm safe. But uh, that's about it, it seems like. All right, so it worked out just like the video I watched uh, it said. Just kinda wiggle it out, and it doesn't take much force at all. It just kinda wiggles out. And then there's a connector right there. And it's just got two prongs on both sides. Just pull them out. And pull it up it comes up pretty easy so this one i was watching for uh, s class actually and it's same uh throttle pedal but um the s class actually has a kick down a separate um uh plug for the kick down switch but mine um I'm, I'm guessing that it just is controlled by the throttle position sensor so kind of does two jobs in one instead of having two separate plugs so Let's go ahead and uh, get the sprint booster plugged in, find where to tuck everything in, and then uh, we should be good to go. All right, so there's the uh, sprint boost connector um, plugged in to the uh, stock location. And then here's the adapter that'll plug into that plug and uh, update you guys once it's back in. So let's see it. All right, so both sides are connected. And then the one last thing is to get that controller, plug it in here, and uh, then we can actually put the gas pedal back in and start playing around with the settings. All right, so it took a little bit of finagling, um, but I was trying to push it up, but the, it seemed like the, the adapter was getting kind of caught behind it. So I kind of tried to just tuck it up this way, um, kind of like, so it's sitting above here and then slide this in and uh, that gave it enough room to kind of settle in and then uh, kind of get everything fit in properly. So I'm just going to tighten this down and uh, go for the exciting part.
All right, so pedal is reinstalled, and right now I just have the wire coming down, and I'll just kind of play with it. Uh, not mounted yet. Um, if I do want to mount it, then I was gonna just tuck it under here and maybe have it come out either from this spot uh, or just kind of keep it mounted somewhere down here and not really worry about it. Uh, but yeah, now the exciting part. Let's go. Let's go test drive. All right, so we got it started. I already revved a few times. Make sure the gas pedal is working properly still. Um, and there it is, it's already turned on. It automatically turned on to this it's race mode right now. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, turn it off. And then uh, let's just kinda, kinda play with it. So it's on five on green right now. And we gotta actually go around and kinda drive with it a bit. So let's see. We're on green level five, we're just gonna drive around right now. up a notch. So it definitely feels a little bit more responsive. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to do this while you're driving or not, but I'm going to. So now we have it on green nine. Definitely more responsive now. Gonna buy an old Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, it feels a lot more crisp. It's like it's not like the dead pedal travel like before. Um, now let's try race. Okay, now we're on race number nine. number nine it's uh pretty touchy probably probably too touchy for regular driving all right that's initial reviews so i don't know if, don't know if you guys can see this but uh this is where i ended up choosing to mount it i just tucked the wire and just left it uh hanging upside down there um it's definitely it's not going to move at all Sorry, there's so much glare you can't really see. Um, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere and uh, it's not noticeable at all for anybody else in the car. So I'm happy with it there. All right, so after driving around for a while, um, after my kind of initial review, uh, I think this thing is definitely worth it. Um, my wife, a uh, special camera woman, uh, was helping me out there for the initial kind of test drive. And then she got out and I just kind of went around, took a few blocks um, to where I could kind of stretch the car's legs out a little bit and um, drove around in green for a little bit. And it was, you know, a little a little more responsive, you could tell, but uh, I kind of prefer it in uh, full, full uh, go. So all the way on number nine on race mode. Um, and I drove around like that a few laps and I was kind of like, you know, is this really doing anything? I couldn't tell yet. And then I turned it off and uh, man, the car felt so laggy um, compared uh, to the race setting. Um, and that's how, that's the reason I got it in the first place is it's just the first like one fourth of the pedal feel just felt like dead, you know, just didn't feel like it could do much. I mean, the car is fast, no doubt. Like, especially once you're up on the freeway, uh, I mean, it'll kick down gear pretty easily and um 
yeah anything above like 2000 rpm i mean the pedal's down far enough to where after that point it's responsive but the first like from zero to 2000 rpm if you're not like halfway down in the throttle or full throttle um it's just not as peppy as uh i'd like it to be um but on this race setting uh, it just gives it uh, more feel in that range um and that's what i like it just it makes me feel safer driving to have a car that's kind of as responsive as possible um so for me i, I think this is a win um but the good news is, is you got 30 days to to uh, test it out. If you want to send it back, then you can get a full refund. Um, so I'll test it out for like the next 20 or so days. Um, and I will give you guys my, my final review and if I decided to keep it or not. But uh, for now, um, yeah, it's feeling, feeling like a win. So that's about it. I will update you guys later. Take it easy.